Yo, what is up guys, Patrick here. Welcome back to the video. Today, we're back at Starbucks and we're trying the Venti Mocha Cookie Crumble Frappuccino. This was $6.35, pretty pricey, but what can you expect from a Venti drink? And this is a drink that was brought back for the summertime, you know, limited time special kind of thing. You know, a few days ago I tried the S'mores Frappuccino, the Caramel Ribbon Crunch. Now this is another summertime limited time drink that I'm trying here. And yeah, just looking at it, we got some like chocolatey milkiness, uh, some uh, what's some whipped cream on the top here with some uh, like Oreo cookies, I'm pretty sure. But just in case, let me read to you what's in this drink. So this is what Starbucks says. Frappuccino roast coffee, mocha sauce, and frappuccino chips are blended with milk and ice layered on top of whipped cream and chocolate cookie crumble and topped with vanilla whipped cream, mocha drizzle, and even more chocolate cookie crumble. These layers ensure each sip is as good as the last all the way to the end. God damn. Just looking at the image on here, it doesn't look quite the same, but it's a little bit similar. You know, the one on the Starbucks commercials and in the picture, they always look photoshopped. What can you expect? But still, damn. Uh, I can see the drizzle, but not as well as in the picture. But just taking a few smells and whiffs, it's just chocolate. Oh yeah, you basically smell the cookie chips. But yeah, let's get trying this. Hopefully it's as good as it looks. But you know Starbucks, they only make drinks that are good, you know. Some of them don't taste as good to me, but most of them do because how can they sell something that doesn't taste good, you know? They have to sell something that tastes good. So yeah, we got kind of like the mocha caffeine area in the bottom here. The frappuccinos like in the middle with like the milk and the ice. And then we got the whipped cream and the cookie crumble on top with the drizzle around it. But yeah, let's let's try this. Mm. First sip, you get a big hit of like the chocolate sauce at the bottom mixed with the milk and the caffeine. The milk is like a, a kick at the end, but you mostly get like the chocolate when you first take the first sip, but let me mix it around a little bit, you know. As you can see, the whipped cream is kind of starting to deteriorate here with the, like the mocha. The whipped cream has shrunk into the like frappuccino part. Like, this is a venti. You guys saw when I first started the review, it was like full to the brim. Now it cut all of this out as you shake it and mix it down. But let's see. Let's let's get a sip here. Hopefully it's not spill like I did last time. Damn. They mix the cookie chips in like the actual drink, so it's not just at the top of the drink. But damn, like it's not bad, but this drink is like one of those drinks that's like huh, I don't know, you know? It's not bad, but it's not like something I'd get. I'm getting like a dark chocolate kind of thing, you know? That's the taste I'm getting. But was there dark chocolate in this? It's not, there's no dark chocolate in this, but like, I feel like the the mocha is like throwing it off and making it taste like it's a dark chocolate with a hint of sweet. It's not too sweet of a drink. Yeah, it's not too sweet of a drink, but there's supposed to be roast coffee in here and I'm getting no taste of the roast coffee. Just at the start, just at the beginning, there was that little hit of the roast coffee, but then now it's just like, it's gone. Like, where did it go? It's, it's supposed to be in the drink. As you mix it, it's supposed to blend, I know, but it's not supposed to disappear. Let me let me get some of this whipped cream and, like, cookie crumble on the top here. Oh, man, I'm already spilling. Oh, yeah, that's some good whipped cream. Let me try and mix it up a little bit here. I like how it looks. It's like it gets from really dark to really light, but it's not bad, you know? I'm like mixing it right now and it's like turning like liquidy, which is pretty good, you know? Let me tell you what I think. If you're a chocolate kind of person, this is the drink for you. But if you're just like, a, I want caffeine, but I also want like a taste of some chocolate, this is probably not the drink to get because I can barely taste like the roast coffee in here. It's more of like chocolate. And it's weird because it's like, if you mix it like this, there's like a huge chunk on the top here that's like more liquidy than at the bottom. I get it, there's frappuccino, but like, is there like weird water on the top? Like, did the ice just already melt that it's like liquidy on the top? I don't know. 
I'm just making like excuses here for this drink, but would I get it again? Maybe, but there are other options at Starbucks better than this, in my opinion. Taste-wise, 10 out of 10, there's no issues with it. Would I get it again? 7 out of 10, because I would prefer to get something more on like the white chocolate or like the caramel side, but this is like, hmm... It's not bad though. 10 out of 10. It's not too sweet. It's not that bad. I was expecting more roast coffee, so maybe you should ask them for a little bit more of the roast coffee in here. They're kind of stinging on that roast coffee in here, which is what I'm kind of upset about because I'm going to Starbucks coffee. I want coffee, not milk and mocha mixed together. I know it's called the mocha cookie crumble, it's mocha cookie most of it is the cookie because I was expecting the cookies to just be at the top but it's actually mixed throughout which is pretty good which makes the like give you more of like damn that was good because it's like it's pretty good once you start getting towards the end and you like let it sit for a little bit like I have been just talking right now the roast coffee somewhat comes back but it's just light it's too light on the roast coffee so I hope I kind of told you something good about this drink like what it actually is so if you're thinking about getting it you can go try it for yourselves as always don't take my reviews 100% take it like a halfway basis layer of what the drink tastes like and then go try it for yourselves and if you have tried it comment down below what do you think am I correct on what I said about the drink or am I completely wrong and I'm an idiot and this is actually really good and I'm doing this just lies I don't know just tell me in the comments below but yeah so yeah that's basically it the mocha cookie crumble it's not bad but it's just not really for me maybe I'll get it again in the future but it's not like a damn I'm gonna go get this drink but yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy it remember to hit that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you guys so much for watching